Hello and welcome back to awtoolbox.com. My name is Glenn Keller and in this demonstration we're going to be talking about the advanced search. In previous videos we had talked about the global search which is the component at the top of the screen right up here uh, as you can see it and that component allows you to search fairly quickly. However, Sometimes you need to search for administrative objects or you need to search a deeper dive into the objects because of the global searches uh, capabilities. Or maybe there's an outage in the global search and you need to fall back on the advanced search. If you are accessing the advanced search, essentially it will search the whole database. It'll just do everything. So it takes a little bit longer, so you'll have to be a little bit more patient. Or you need to define the search criteria a little bit more accurately. If I click advanced search, the capabilities of the advanced search, which you can see here, I used to have it docked or undocked. So I'm gonna close this and you'll see that I have a button right here for advanced search and it opens it up. If I dock it, it'll pop up over here. But either way, I'm gonna go ahead and undock it to just kind of put it in the center of the screen real quick. Move it here. And you can see that basically you have three different options at the top and depending on which one you select, you have different queries that you can run. These queries down below here are essentially just out of the box in my case, and there's a lot of them, everything from looking for data sets or files uh, to going in and doing audits of workflows, finding sign-off reports, finding active users. Uh, there's a lot of different queries in here that'll help you out. I highly recommend taking a look at some of the definitions inside of this list. You can see time, user timesheet entries, workflow items in process, and you may not have to go about creating your own in this case. However be the case, when you select one, it has a very specific use case. So for instance, item revision, if I select it, all of the attributes in here are gonna be tuned to looking for an item revision. And you can see that right here. Now you can modify them and kind of scope them out a little bit more, but these are the only attributes that you'll be able to search on. There are no filters with advanced searches, so you can't filter after the fact. Uh, this is your full definition of the search. So in my case, I want to find all item revisions that are owned by user01 in the engineering group by default. So if I say search, notice I, did, I didn't get any results. If I clear, so if I start up here and I say clear all, then I scroll down, you'll notice that everything filtered out. So if I try and hit search at the moment, I'm gonna get an error message that says item revision failed. And that's because one of the default values was the type field was filled out with item revision in the name. So once I put that back and I define something, I can hit search. And this time I'll get a whole set of item revisions. Now, if I wanted to go even further with this, I could scroll to the right here and I could see if these have any specific identifiers. So an item revision has release statuses that are available sometimes, and you could search on that. So I could say, find me all the approved item revisions in the system, uh, and then I could search. In this case, I don't have any release with approved, so that's not gonna return anything. I could do multiple by selecting the checkboxes, I could also say what task are they in or what workflow template name. If I come up to the name of the item revision, I'm gonna type in, um, let's do nut, good example. And you can see I've got a bunch of objects with the name field as the first field here. Uh, it's not always gonna match what you have typed in. In our case, it just it's handy. Uh, but I can get all of the item revisions in the system that have the name or the term nut in the name. If I go a little bit further, I could say, I also want to say the ID must include 090. And when I do that, notice everything goes away. If I put a star at the end, everything, some of the data comes back. So that depends on my search settings on how the stars work. In this case, I get the two I want if I add only the star at the end. 
If I go down, I could fill out a whole bunch more. I could even do date ranges to kind of say I want item revisions that were modified after a certain date or before a certain date, and they'll give those to me. Um, the sky's kind of the limit. But the one that I really like to use is the general search. So the general search will definitely give me the most amount of features. Uh, so this will help me pick any type of object I want to search on. Uh, maybe I want a PDF and search on PDF. Say select and then I could say what the name of the PDF is and search on that. So the only other thing that we haven't really talked about here, minus going through each and every one of the searches, which we'll leave you to do. Um, but in here, the preferred button up at the top here is toggled on some of these that I've selected. So the trick with that is basically the ones above this line here that show up right away. Notice those are alphabetical, but within the context of their own queries. The other ones are alphabetical again, but they just kind of list out. There's a bunch of them. So you could easily just type in the field. So I could say data set name and find data set name and use that query instead. Um, but if you wanted it to be kind of shortcutted up at the top here, I could say preferred. And then if I pull this down, now data set name will be above the line. So you can have a bunch preferred or not preferred. It's just kind of what do you want to use a lot and that way you don't have to scroll down for them. And then in this case, I could say uh, just all data sets with any name and then I'll get all those files back. So in this case, I'll close the advanced search and open it back up and dock it first so it remembers to be over there for me. And then notice that I have the ability to work with the tables, save searches, just like I have before with pen to home, uh, selection mode options, and then just take note that if the screen shrunk down, a lot of the other toolbars get pushed into this dot, 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 and we also have our search settings. So if you want to learn a little bit more about our search settings in the system, uh, definitely pay attention to the next video in sequence, but that was advanced searching in a nutshell for Active Workspace. Feel free to take a, take a quick inventory of all those different search types. Just remember, it's the combination of the fields that you type in, you hit search, and you get that search result. No additional filtering after the fact.